Hello everyone, and welcome to my next Let's Play. Alright, so first off, we have our all-around players. Pretty much the standard in every Mario game. Though, in this game, Mario has slightly better power, but slightly less reach, while Luigi is vice versa. Slightly more reach, but slightly less power. The, the all-around players normally play well on courts like the Mario Bros. Court, obviously, because Mario and Luigi are the only two all-around players. And... Uh, the clay cork, if I remember correctly. So yeah, these are very good beginning players if you're just learning to play the game because they run pretty fast, they, they're not weak, and yeah, they're all around players, what can I say? Next up, you have your technique characters, Waluigi, Peach, Daisy, and Toad. And each of them have their individual stats. Toad, as you can probably guess, has the smallest reach, being a small character, and is relatively weak, but he's not the weakest. The weakest would be Peach, but Peach has a very good reach, very good ball control, and uh, pretty fast, so she makes up with speed that she lacks in power. Daisy is basically Peach except stronger with less reach, and Waluigi has the longest reach out of all of them, um, slightly less ball control than Peach, and average power for techniques. So the the kind of I don't know what if you could call it strategy for technique characters is that you can control the ball well and you can put it wherever you want on the feet or the court. So I would recommend using slices with them, unlike what they're doing at all because it will give you better control of the ball and more spin. So there's your technique characters. Next up we have speed characters, but there's only three, so I'm only going to be able to show these two for this for now. Now Yoshi, as you all know, is a commonplace for speed characters, but in this case he's not the fastest. 
He is actually an average among the speed players, which are all Baby Mario, Yoshi, and Birdo. He has average power, average strength, average speed, well actually a little low for strength, but average speed and average reach. Baby Mario on the other hand is the fastest of the speed characters, which means he's like uber fast. He's the fastest character in the game I might add. And he also has the shortest reach and less the least power. So uh, use him if you will. I don't consider him to be that good. I don't use him often, but I don't know. His special is bubbles, so who doesn't like bubbles? Anyway, Birdo is the strongest of all the speed characters and also the slowest, but has the same reach and technique as Yoshi. So there you go. There's your speed characters. Next up, we have our power characters. Wario, Bowser, Donkey Kong, and Donkey Kong Jr., who is actually an unlockable. I will go over both the unlockable characters later, but for now, I'll just tell you their stats. Well, not that Donkey Kong Jr., so the rest. Wario is the slowest, or not the slowest, definitely not the slowest. He is the average among the power characters. He's actually uh, second weakest in strength-wise. He is... Mm, average in reach, average in control, and um, yeah, he, oh wait, no, he's the second, uh, whatever. Bowser is often considered the worst character of the game because he's so slow you can't really make use of his power. He has average reach, humongous power, he's the most powerful player in the game, but he's also the slowest character in the game, so you gotta remember that. Donkey Kong, on the other hand, is the fastest, or the second fastest of the power characters. He is average among strength, he has the longest reach, and yeah, there you go. Next up, we have our tricky characters, Paratroopa and Boo. Now, the reason these two are called tricky is because, for, for plenty of reasons. First of all, they have ridiculous curve on their balls. No pun intended. And while they're charging their shot, normally you can't move, but these two players can because they're floating. I personally prefer Boo because he is slightly faster and has slightly more power, but it's not really noticeable. Uh, with Paratroopa, you don't really have that much control of the ball besides his curve, so that's why I prefer Boo. And, yeah, Paratroop is pretty much the opposite of Boo in that case. So, there you go. There's your tricky players, I guess. And last, but definitely not least, you have your unlockable characters, Shy Guy and Donkey Kong Jr. Shy Guy is a technique player, and Donkey Kong Jr. is power, as I said before. Donkey Kong Jr. is the fastest of all the power characters, but he's also the weakest. And Shy Guy and... The technique character area it has slightly more reach than Toad, slightly slightly more power than Toad, but he doesn't have as much ball control at ball control as um, Peach and Daisy. So there you go. Oh yeah, and Donkey Kong Jr. is unlocked by beating uh, the Mushroom, the Flower, and the Star Cup with Mario, and Shy Guy is. Be, uh, is unlocked by being the other three tournaments, which I'm not going to name right now. So, uh, that's all your characters. Now on to the game. So, now that we've explained all the characters, let's go into the actual game. I will be using Yoshi for our first go through the tournaments. Obviously. So we have Ring Shot, Piranha Challenge, Bowser Stage, and Exhibition. Exhibition is basically practice mode, do whatever you want. You know, mess around with it. Bowser stages, you have items on them, and it's a tilting stage, so be careful. And when I say items, I mean like Mario Kart items. Red shells, bananas, all the jazz. The Piranha Challenge is often considered the hardest thing to get perfect on in this game, because the Piranha will spit out 50 balls, and you have to send them all back without the opponent hitting them back before they touch the ground. Pretty hard. I've done it before, though. Uh, ring shot. Uh, I will explain this later once I get to it because it's mm, kind of complicated. So let's start the tournament. I will be starting with singles because honestly, I suck at doubles. I really suck at doubles. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just because I'm getting handicapped by my partner or what, but I, I just seem to do much better in singles. So that's what I'll be playing for now. 
So, I'll explain the shots now. You can double tap the button to make a, like a stream behind the ball. You can see I have an orange stream behind the ball there. Uh, if you don't double tap the button, it'll just not have a stream like she just did, or I did. And there's two, there's actually, no, there's three kinds of um, swings. First of all, there's the top spin swing, or hmm, I think that's what it's called. And it's basically, it's the main swing of the game. Uh, it has more power than the others. Well, no. It has more power than the other one that you use most of the time. And the other is the slice, which she just used. It has a blue trail behind it. I'll uh, use it. Uh, sometimes it's good to like switch it up on the opponent. Like, using top swing a few times, and then... Oh, it's a front swing, I think, actually. And then, like, going to a slice. I don't know. It's, it just seems to work for me sometimes. I don't know. I could just be going crazy. And then there's the smash, which you can do when you're up near the net, and you'll have a pink line behind the ball. But I'll show that off once we get into doubles. Or I could do it right now because I'm a boss. Or she could just not hit the ball back. So, if you haven't played tennis before, basically the way the scoring goes is it goes from love, which is 0, to 15, 30, 40, and then that's a game. A uh, game is not actually like the end of the match, that would be match. Uh, there can be up to, wow, she actually scored on me. I don't think I've, oh, that's not, that's not even good. If, if you're good, if you consider yourself good, oh, okay, okay, okay. I gotta focus. Uh, but like I was saying, usually there are, mm, there's either one or three sets in most games. Once we get farther in, it'll start getting to five sets. Uh, two games is a set, and when you get the majority of the sets in the game, or in the, in the match, you win. Match point. Yes, because this, this match only has one set, so once I win the first set, I win. And it's not necessarily two games and you win. You actually have to be two games above the opponent to win. And if both of you get to two games, you go into the tiebreaker, which I'll explain if we ever get to that. But on the score for tiebreaker, it only goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then game. If both players end up having a 40 as a score, it will go into a deuce, where the player has to get the advantage and then score again. So basically they have to score twice in a row to win the game. And oh yeah, I should say, uh, most characters when you're going against them single and singles, they have they have specialized AI. Luigi usually always goes to the net. And so does like Waluigi and things like that. I don't know why they do, it's, it's not a good strategy at all, trust me. But uh, they do it, so to each their own. And apparently it's working. He, he scored, I suppose. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say in terms of how the game works. So it's basically your average tennis game. Oh, I should say, there were a few games created alongside this, like other Mario tennis games. And you can import characters from like the Game Boy Advance version, I think it is. If no, no, it, it can't be the Game Boy Advance version. It's the Game Boy Color version, then. And on that game, the characters have levels and stuff that increase their stats and whatnot. I haven't really played it before, so I'm not exactly sure on the matter, but I know that you can do that. And there's actually, you actually can level them up on this game, so... When you import them and then, like, send them back to the game and they'll be all leveled up. So, uh, do with that what you will. I don't think anyone actually owns the game anymore. Well, I can't say that, because someone has to. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, and that intro at the beginning. That was, uh, weird, to say the least. Anyway, that is game, set, and match. Uh, join me next time when we go against... Peach! Peach for the end of the first tournament. So, uh, that has been... Let's play Mario Tennis, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.